Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode, um, I did post the episode earlier this day, um, but this might be posted tomorrow, so it, it will be a day late, maybe posted later today at 9-ish, um, so, in my last video, I did a cute moments, um, video with, uh, with Mocha, she's right in there, she's awake, cause currently right now it's like 9 o'clock-ish, 9.30-ish, um, so, <clears throat> what I'm what I'm going to do is teach you guys how to tame your very scared dwarf hamster, particularly um, Robo dwarf hamsters. They are very skittish. Um, Mocha is also very 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 skittish, but she is getting there, as you can see. Like I can actually kind of pet her a bit and get my hands close to her and oh okay she does get a bit scared but i have have been teaching her like i can i can kind of pet her but she does run away a bit her wheel okay i'm gonna fix her wheel so yeah um so what you're gonna want is some treats i got treats right next to me i use this stuff Select seeds treat for hamsters, gerbils, rats, and mice. Yeah, I use tropical carnival. So, all you're going to want to do is get one of those. And put it on your hand. And really just get your scent on it. So, really if you wanted to is just rub your hands on it. Wash your hands before <clears throat> you do this i did that so just rub it on your hand and just wait and see if we'll grab it now this is the first thing you want to do now i have been doing this all day really i've given her about three treats so it's probably why she's not wanting to take it yeah she just doesn't want it um, so yeah, that's another thing you can do. <coughs> Actually, that is the first stage. That's the first thing you should do. So she gets used to your smell. Um, and also, while you're doing that first stage, put your hands in the cage. Let her get used to your hand being in the cage all the time. Um, and by the way, yes, I will be getting a tripod soon, so... Soon you'll just be able to see this probably. And my hand will just be there and all. So I'll be able to see everywhere. <clears throat> um, maybe that will be in my next video. Um, in about two more days though I will be doing a video about me. Um, uh, cleaning her cage out and all. <coughs> Cause I mean it's the first week she has made it quite a bit of a mess. Um, so yeah. Uh, so, then you're going to, so the second stage is, so, grabbing your tree, of course, getting it on your smell, putting it on the middle of your hand, put your cage somewhere near her, not too close so she doesn't get too frightened. Um, I'm already on the second stage. I will be doing a progress video pretty soon. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just I'm getting a bit of cold. Um, yeah, that's what you want to do. And just do that for about three, two days, somewhere around like that. And then she'll get used to your smell, used to getting on your hand. Now, the first times you do this, um, she will, of course, take the hand out of your, out of your, or take the treat out of her hand, out of your hand, sorry, out of your hand and probably run away with it and go eat it somewhere else because they don't really trust you. And then later, about in the third day or second day of you doing it, she'll just take it off your hand and eat it right next to you. And maybe even on the third or how many times you do it, maybe she'll um, stand on your hand. She has done that a couple times for me. <clears throat> and quick little tip, a way to know if your hamster really trusts you is she cleans, she cleans herself on you. So, yeah, that's a cool fact. And... The fourth stage is practicing to hold her. So what you want to do is get your treat, of course, get your smell on it, because you still have to get them used to your smell. Put on your hand, wait for them to go onto your hand, 
and pick them up slowly. And you want to just pick them up kind of like a bit higher off the ground, not that high, because if you drop them, they can get injured, which is a very not good thing. You do not want that to happen. She's just standing there. You're probably terrified. I'm talking a bit too loud. I'm sorry. Let me pet you. Oh, you're so cute. You're so furry. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what you want to do. And the fifth stage is, well, get them into, like, a little cup like this or something. Or like this. Take them over to your bathtub now for this. Um, you're probably going to want an old pillow and an old blanket that you don't use. Put it in your bathtub. So then, of course, if they do jump out, they will land on the pillow and have a more soft landing than landing on something hard like the metal on the ground. And you just want to pack practice picking them up in there. Or if you want, is get a playpen. So really, if I wanted to, I could just probably take everything out of here. Put a blanket down on, um, just put like an old blanket down there on the ground of this cage. And I could just try pick her up on there and all. And yeah, and then that's, that's basically it. They'll get used to you. And yeah, so, um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.